Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be removing Cucumber out of our tests and we're going to put JUnit 5, right? So we have been, we, we talked in the beginning of the series uh, how beautiful is the readability of Cucumber that you can uh, uh, be, that it can be a bridge between the business and the, the technical folks, but you might not need cucumber you might not need to use bdd you might say hey i don't i don't have that integration with my business folks so is there a way that i can have a a readable code right something that uh, a new joiner can can read and, and understand what is happening can understand about the the product that we built and the functionality just by reading the code yes you definitely can junit 5 is going to help you with uh, some fun functionality that is going to increase the ability of what you can do in your tests so this is basically what I want to cover today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notification of my next videos. And I'm going to also be posting the links for the previous videos so you can keep it up. And let's start. So we have the code that you have been using so far and it's pretty much the same. Uh, we just now need to remove Cucumber and put unit 5. So what we're going to do is we need, still need to keep Jackson. All right, this is the build gradle file uh, where our, our dependencies are. Well, we still need the Jackson uh, library that's going to do the serialization and deserialization. We still need rest assured, right? I'm going to do a couple of enters here to put cucumber here in the in the bottom, so we can remove to the we can remember to delete it, and I'm going to introduce the JUnit dependencies, right? So I'm going to put JUnit five here. And this, the JUnit engine, everything here I got from the JUnit documentation, right? JUnit 5 documentation. We also need to put an extra uh, configuration here, which is for all my tests, I need to use the JUnit platform, which is going to tell that whenever you're using any test, you should use JUnit 5, right? which also called Jupyter, JUnit Jupyter. Great, I'm going to click here so we can reload all the dependencies. If you haven't, if it hasn't downloaded, it's going to download it now. So we already have everything that we need. Right? So in one of the first videos that we that I created in my in my channel, uh, we we set up Java and and rest and rest assured. Uh, without cucumber and I'm going to be posting the links for you uh, to keep it up and the idea for this video is not to give like a a a step by step of JUnit 5 and everything that it's used I'm just uh, everything that it uses I'm just want I just want to show you that you can have some readability without cucumber right? uh, later on I, I I think I can do a video specifically to JUnit 5 but what we're going to do is we need to create a new package, right? I'm going to create a package, no, no longer steps, because we won't have any steps definition. I'm going to create a step called uh, a package called tests, package tests. Right? And I'm going to create a class called base test. And I'm going to put the configuration of our rest assured. So our base, our config step definition, we already have some setup for rest assured. So I'm going to use this setup. I'm going to come here and I'm going to say void uh, rest assured setup. And I'm going to paste everything here. And I need to tell this is a before. It's, this is a JUnit file notation. Before all, I have before each. There's going to execute a, a before each scenario, but I don't want this setup being executed before each scenario. Before all, it's fine. So, and I need to create the token method here, right? Which we already have the token method. I'm going to put it here. Awesome. So this is the same setup that we already have. So this needs to be static, static void. Great. And this also needs to be static. Awesome. 
So now what we're going to do is we need to create our test. We already have a test. We, we're going to do this step by step, right? So our first test is the user test, which we have here, uh, create a user on the pet store. When I create a user, then the create a user was stored. That, that's basically it. So we can come here into a step definition. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to create a new test called user test, user test, right? And I can use here a, a, and I'm going to say this is going to extend base test. So when I extend, I'm using hierarchy and it's going to use everything that we created on base test. Basically this setup or research is going to be done for us. I also can give a more meaningful name. This is going to be used in our report. I can, I can use display name. This is a JUnit 5 uh, <coughs> annotation feature. And I can say create new user, create, uh, let's say user feature tests. That's related to user features, right? Um, and now I can create my first test. So it's going to be a void and I'm going to give a meaningful name. Make sure that you give minimal, meaningful names uh, in all codes, especially this one, because the more meaningful, easier is going to be to read, right? And we, are, we cannot rely now on Cucumber features anymore. So I'm going to say this is the test to create a new user, right? So this is the test that we are creating a new user. So it's uh, must be able to create new user, right? And I need to tell this is a test. So this is how JUnit is going to know that this should be executable as a test, executed as a test. I'm also going to give a display name to make it easier for the readability of the report. So a user must be able to register into the system, right? And now I can give my test I already pasted. Uh, we have the assertion and we already copied and we have the setup, right? So now we need to fix this. I'm going to import the user. This is a user. The use API, right, uh, is I'm going to create a new use API. So it's going to be user API, use API, new user API. Great. So if we read this, we already have a expected user. We are building an expect, this is the user that we are expecting. We're going to create that expected user. Now I'm going to go to my API. So user create user. And now I'm going to get the expected user. And I'm going to give it a name of actual username. Now I'm going to assert that the actual username is the expected user. So this is very readable, right? Note that the fact that we used the, the, the strategy that we, we mapped the API, the domain, everything, we, we, we didn't touch any of that. The only thing that we needed to do was change the step definition. Right? I already have my store open and running. I, I can run this. I can run this by clicking on the user test here. I can click on the test itself. I can right click on the test on the class and click uh, execute. Great. It ran. Amazing, right? But there is one catch. If I come here and I say Rafa Lima, it's here, right? Because this is the user that we build, that we build, right? So we need to be able to delete, right? Uh, we need, you need to be able to clean after yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new method here saying delete Oh my god, delete new user. Right? And I'm going to use the use API 
to delete, but we don't have the delete one user, we have delete all users, because back when we used Cucumber, we could not have that, uh, we could not send information between one test to another, or to the hook, I could not test, not one test another to the hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my use API and I'm going to create a new method. And I'm going to say, I want a method that's going to delete one user, delete user. And I send the user that I want to delete. I don't need this array of users anymore. And I don't need the four anymore, right? And now I can say, I want the user get username, right? Awesome. So now I'm, I'm able to delete that user. So I can come here and I say, delete user. And I need to pass a user. But how can I pass this user here, this expected user? This is the user that we created and we need to delete. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this expected user as part of my class. And now I can use that and I can pass here. I also need to make sure that this is executed after the test. So I'm going to put an annotation called after each. After each, because I want this to be executed in every test that's create a new user. All right, so I'm going to re-execute my test. And I can execute and see no user anymore. It was actually triggered. So you can see that we were able to change our testing engine, our testing library pretty easily. Like in, in a 15, 20 minute video, we were able to remove Cucumber, put JUnit 5 and create and port one test already. We, st I mean, if my suite is big, it's going to take a long time to port everything. But the fact that we created our code, we encapsulated our code, we, we did a clean code and we, we gave uh, uh, meaningful names and meaningful variables, minimal method, meaningful methods and so on, made our life really easy to know what needs to be done, right? And also you can take a look and you can actually read this code and you can actually understand what the test is doing. It's pretty straightforward, right? I can come here also and I can, uh, execute my, my test. And when I open the cucumber, now is the JUnit report. Now we're going to see that it's using the name that we gave in our, in our display name, right? This display name here. When I click it, it's using, it's giving me the method name, but also it's giving me the name of uh, what we created here. So it's going to make the report much, much readable, much easy to understand and, and meaningful, right? And you can put it, it can be as big as you want, right? So that's basically what I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notification of my next videos. If you like it, give the thumbs up and it's really important that you do because this is how the channel can keep growing. And I'm going to see you next video.